Now, this is the actual bulb. It's All right, guys, this video has been a long time coming. I didn't get a sponsor or get something off online or whatever. I decided to just get my own uh, headlights. Now, everything else on the Tahoe is great, but one of the things that really gets me aggravated are these headlights. Let me show you what I mean. When I unlock, they should light up. No? Hater. <laughs> All right, now that we got the headlights on, I'll let you see what my issue is. Do you notice that you got the nice bright white LED, but you got a little bit of a yellow halogen bulb on the Tahoe? That drives me nuts. Well, today, we're gonna fix that problem. Here on deck, let me turn these off so it doesn't drive me crazy. I picked up these. Now, they're plug and play LED replacement for halogen fog bulbs, okay? Now, these are H11s, which means they should fit, they should plug directly in to the headlight assembly that I already have here in the truck. Now, I know, I know people are gonna say, no, no, those are only fog lights, TK, those are only fog lights. Look, man. Look, man, I'm telling you, we're just gonna plug these in and see what they do. I know people are gonna say that, but it's not DOT certified. Look, man, most of them bulbs you're buying on Amazon are not DOT certified. I picked these up, LED fog lights right here. Now we're gonna see what exactly they do when I plug them into the Tahoe and see if they work. Now, this is the actual bulb itself right here. You can see the LED filament here on the top. It goes all the way around, right? It's got like a little fan or a little cooling system here on the back and a little cable so you don't have to be directly plugged in. So we're going to go put this thing in now and see how difficult it is. All right, so the process on this is not as easy as you might think. The other side has an airbox. This one is very easily accessible, which you can see it right there. The other one, we're going to have to remove the entire airbox, which you guys see right here. We're going to have to take all, you know, unscrew all this, take this whole assembly out to get to the bulb, which is down there. I know, pain in the ass, but it has to be done. All right. Now where we have the camera set up directly like this, I should be able to just reach directly in here, turn this thing counter clockwise. I just thought the Mamba just started on its own somebody else started there <laughs> it's like yeah did the mama just start the hell all right i got the uh piece out here all right now this is going to be the interesting part let's go ahead and take the bulb out Now the issue I think I might have is, no, no, I think these are gonna fit just fine actually. I think they're, I think these are gonna fit just fine actually. If you look right here, they're around the same size. Now you're gonna say, well, what about all this sticking off on the back? I'm not too worried about that. I think they're gonna fit just fine. So let's go ahead and unplug the uh, bulb. See if it works. Oh, let me get the screwdriver. Damn it. Alright, we're back with the flathead. See if we can get this to release. There we go. Now, what I was worried about was, if you look in here, you'll see this one has a splitter, right? Like a piece of plastic down the side, and this one doesn't. So like it only can go one way on one and the other, right? But they're both H11, so I am assuming 
that it will fit. Now we're going to find that out right now. Okay, so the top is actually right here. Damn, I want to have another hand in here. All right, there we go. I don't want to block y'all's full view, though. So y'all can see how this goes in. Right. Oops. All right, I think we are good. And this is all nice and plugged in. Yep. Now I'm just going to turn it on real quick and see if it lights up like a Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? This is not like a halogen bulb where I have to worry about um, touching it like I already did that one. Let's turn them on real quick see what happens. Now, as you can see, they work. Let's see if they fit. All right, now I know I'm going to get all kind of shit in the comments. They're going to be like, those are projector bulbs, TK. They're not made for that. Look, I don't care. Just be careful. I'm letting you know when you get in the comments, these elves are ready. <laughs> like, I don't care. I don't care. I did this on my Envoy. I had no issues, so I'm good. I don't need the... Uh, the gaggle circus you know what i'm saying all right let's see here let me check this out big flap there all right so let me put it like so big flap on point boom then we're just going to push the wire the connector and all that stuff down so it doesn't get hot touching that heat sink we'll push that off to the side and i think we're good I think we're straight. Let's turn it on and see what we got, shall we? So you can see the difference between these two lights. <laughs> oh, man. Say it with me. Upgraded. Upgraded. Now, can you see the difference in color between that light and that light? Now, I know people are going to say, oh... The light is so much uh, brighter out of the halogens and that no it's not fake news stop that <laughs> stop it now this looks way better than that I don't care what you say ten times on Sundays this light looks a million times better than that now how much did this cost me I paid 99 bucks at advanced auto parts for those bulbs if I find a link for Amazon, I'll put a link in, link for these lights in the description. Who knows? They may be available. You might be able to get them a little cheaper. I wanted to do this today because I'm tired. I was just tired of the truck looking like that with the with the yellow lights. You know what I'm saying? So now comes the fun part. Now I got to take all that apart and uh, put the other bulb in. So let's get to it. Now we got to get everything off of that side, which we're going to do here in just a minute. So, we got some screws and stuff to take out, so we're going to go ahead and get into that. I got the new bulb right here, but basically we need to take the intake, the uh, air box off, so we're going to do that now. Let me unscrew this, get her nice and loose. Now, it may take a screwdriver for you to get this completely off, but not for me. It was nice and easy. It wasn't that difficult. And then, we got to take the, box, the screws out of the box itself. Now this is a pain in the ass, I gotta be honest, this is a massive pain in the ass just to change a headlight, but I can understand why it's like that. I also found something weird. I have a screw down here that's almost backed all the way out of the airbox, which means maybe when I had more oil change last, because I didn't do it myself, I actually took it to Firestone, maybe they didn't tighten my airbox all the way down and that screw was about to come out, I was about to lose it. So, you know, today could have saved me some other problems. And if that screw would have got stuck in the belt or something else, you know, you never know. 
but uh yeah let's get this out we're gonna time lapse this part and we'll be right back We got the air box open we're gonna inspect our air filter now last time when I was getting my oil changed they said my air filter was really dirty so we're gonna take a look at it now I don't know it doesn't look too bad to me but you tell me what you guys think in the comments all right this next part I believe is just rubber plugged down right so just a lot of force yeah, gets this one out. So there's the whole box. We got that out now. Wow, so that's where the cold air is coming in, huh? That's a ripoff. GM quality for you. All right, so we're going to put that over there. Now we have full access to our headlight panel. Oh, yeah, I forgot. One more thing, I almost forgot. I got the damn rivets with this panel, and I don't want to break them because I want to be able to use them again. But they're not like the old school ones that would have the piece that would pull out from the middle where you can reuse them. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to snap this back in. We'll see. Oh, wait a minute. They put a hole here so you can... Oh, that's some janky shit there. No. We're just gonna pull these out because I'm not. I ain't doing it. At least one so I can get a better view of what the hell I'm looking at because that's not gonna fly. Come on. And see, there's no way to really pull this where it doesn't have the reusable tab in the middle because you could used to be you could pull these plastic rivets really easy do not make me have to go through this friggin thing man because that is so janky as shit i'm not doing it i don't care even if i if i blow this one rivet so be it the box is going to hold it in place anyway oh, man And I know someone's going to say, TK, you should be using a rivet puller. Nah, I'm good. All right, go F yourself. All right, this gives me a little bit of a better angle. Now, this isn't perfect. I'm not a mechanic. Wow. I'm turning this damn thing counterclockwise, like it says, and it is tight as... Nobody, no females in your neighborhood, I can tell you that. Hold on. Oh. oh, there we go. Woo! Boy, did that sucker not want to come out, man. Wow. All right, next. We're going to pull the bulb. Come on. There we go. Oh, hot from having it on there's the bulb we put this side over here we're gonna grab our new LED bulb which we got right here and yes if you happen to see this video like a year from now two years from now and you're like and they're like why is this dude wearing a ski mask this is during 2020 during the virus so social distancing and stuff is extremely important right now so I don't have a choice all right And if you're doing anything on post or a military, you know, a military installation, 
right now they're requiring you to wear a mask if you're at the commissary out and about or at a store where I'm doing this change like I am here. All right. I've got that snapped in nice and tight. Now we're going to check it and see if it lights up. So give me a second and we'll go check it. What do you guys think? You think we got light? I know you guys can't see it yet, but here, let me give you a quick look. Let there be light, damn it. All right, so let me go turn this off. Let's plug it in, and we'll be good. All right. So now we're going to just slide this through the hole and let me get my hand in here like so and we're going to line this damn thing up and snap it in damn it that is the plan all right let me look and see what these tabs are at big tab right there so just like so okay all right we are in there like swimwear damn it now we just need to push the wire down and then we're going to take this and put it back into place Okay, so I got one there, so I need to go right here with it. All right, now let's check out and see if she works. All right, I'll take y'all with me. Ugh, as I pick up this camera. Woo, all right. What do you guys think? You think it's done? You think it worked? Let's see. There it is, folks. She went from ashy to classy, damn it. <laughs> ashy to classy. Now I gotta take this grill off and paint it. It's gonna be a hell of a day. Anyways, that's another video. I'll catch you guys here in the next one. Come on, focus. Damn. So, does it not want to focus on me today? Wow. There we go. So, if you like today's video and you enjoy what I do, make sure to click that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos on the Black Mamba, different upgrades and different things that I'm doing to it, again, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to go subscribe to the second channel, More TK. That's youtube.com forward slash Tommy Kelly. The link will be in the description. Uh, as we'll be doing live streams, podcasts, like chopping it up about cars, live streams of Copart and everything else, uh, as well as IAA coming real soon. Peace. Yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay. <laughs> now I'm done. I almost didn't plug the uh, the uh, mass airflow sensor back in. Oops. Anywho's, that's going to be it. Hey, also go check out my dude JC Motives Garage. I got to see if I can find the link to his channel or one of my mods if you're in the chat. Or JC Motive if you're in the chat. One of my mods drop his link in this uh, premiere. It'll be in the stream. So if you're watching this on the replay crew and you're just in the comment section, you got to go back to the live chat button up above. But anyways, he sent me this t-shirt uh, from his channel. So I, I rock out other channels, uh, other, you know, other t-shirts from other channels just showing some support. So uh, go check out his channel. I know he's just getting started and getting his thing going. Man, I just see the dirt and grease on the truck now. I gotta. What do y'all think? Should I take it through? The... I gotta go get another car wash. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. You can see the JC Motors Garage right there. Uh, T-shirt right there in the reflection. Go check out his channel. Look, you can even see him. Look at him. Look, you can see him flickering. You can see him flickering. That tells you the LEDs. Look at that. Oh.
Coming soon here on TK's Garage, this Audi is finally done. Seven months this project took, but it is complete. And for the haters and trolls that say I never work on my own things. Toasty! <laughs> <laughs>